Dudes to Dads is a podcast to help men understand and navigate the transition of being a single dude into a family man. How do we make sense of it all? Well, we probably won't be able to, but let's go ahead and have some fun trying it. And we are back. We are back. I'm Jason Kreider. I'm Alan Bush. And this is Dudes to Dads. Alan, we have an amazing episode today. Yeah. So you've been prepping this one for me uh, for pretty much two weeks. Yeah. And um, and I'm now curious as to what's going to come out of this because you haven't told me exactly what's on it, but it seems pretty... Al- I like you being as excited as the people who yeah. are going to listen. I think it works well. Prior to that, though, I kind of I want to announce something that I've been working on for quite some yeah. time. Um, you might be able to see that I'm wearing a sweatshirt with a logo on yeah, it. Yeah, dig it. So this is the first piece that I'm kind of testing. But basically, um, I have been building a brand and uh, call it the umbrella organization that dudes to dads will fall under. Yeah. Called Dad University. Yep. So we've been starting it with some social activity. Um, there is a website in development, and basically, it's a lot of work. Um, but it's but sort you of already have a sweatshirt. I have a sweatshirt. I, I, you know, I, I <laughs> half the work is done. The logo was created. Let me see if here. Look, maybe the camera can pick. Yeah, it up. Yeah, uh, we're going to go to the actual camera. If you're on YouTube, you can see this. So sorry for the listeners who just listen to me do this, but uh, Jason's showing his showing his logo. So to the viewers, we don't have a camera man. We just have a camera pointing at us. So uh, we're not that. Yeah, we yet. we actually. It's funny. We, you know, we we record these for YouTube, but we're not. We don't perform for YouTube. Correct. You know, this is a podcast that yeah. we're going back and forth. Yeah. We happen to play the videos online. Yeah. So people so you can, can, you can see what we look like. It's our but, hand motion, but we don't do such. a lot of exciting things for YouTube. Right. Yet. Right. Yes. Yet. We're working on that too, as right. part of the daddy. Universe. There's a lot of things that are going to be coming within the next, you know, months and things as I am putting more and more energy into this and more and or I should say, well, energy, my energy has been there, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, more, energy. some, some time, some thoughts, some getting additional yeah. people involved. Um, but it's exciting. It's good stuff. Yeah, it's and really so, cool. you know, Dad University is, you know, the concept is really of what they do not teach you in school. Sure. That's it. Yeah. You know, it's a lot of stuff. So it encompasses, you know, new dads with dudes to dads. Mm-hmm. It encompasses also existing dads and getting help. But basically it's providing advice, education, speaking, speaking. Yeah. Speaking all that engagements. Stuff. One yeah. thing we don't mention enough of is that Jason does speaking engagements and uh, you did one recently, which we'll yeah. have some footage of from that uh, fairly, fairly soon. Yeah. And, um, but that's great. And he's able to teach and coach um, dads in, a, in group settings. Yep. Kind of like almost what you do with the impetus to the show was the meetup. The meetup. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, but it's on a larger scale. Yeah. I mean, we can, it can be a keynote speaker or we can do small workshops. Yeah. Yeah. So, it doesn't have to be, but that kind huge, of stuff that that's all coming and yeah. I'm excited to yeah, sort of, Really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but most importantly, I got a cool sweatshirt. Well, you got a sweatshirt with a logo on it. <laughs> you know, it came in the mail. I was like, that looks really cool. Yeah. Like, I don't care. Even if nobody else sees it, I like it. Um, so here, this is why I was also excited about this episode. We do have gotten requests, many, for, you know, information and tips really for the brand new dads. Cause that's really what, you know, dudes to dads. It's kind of how it started. We do a lot more, you know, a lot of things that are broadening just in general as a man and as a dad, as a, yeah. you know, uh, for the relationship and everything else. But this is 55 tips for new dads. The ultimate guide. The ultimate guide. For new fathers. Okay. I wanted to compile as much as I could. So I went so like, I went into the archives. We've got 55 of them. I'm going to get through them fast. Okay. Um, so for those that this are a speed on round? recording, yeah, it's going to be somewhat of a, of a speed round. Okay. Can I um, pause you if I find something even particularly interesting oh, to go totally. off on, on divergent yeah, I mean, tangents. we can talk for 10 hours. <laughs> yeah. It's our show. It's our show. Who cares? If you don't like it, keep t- saying But I will put these tips online so that if somebody just wants a list of them, yeah. they can they can get those as well. Yeah. Um, and a lot of this, you know, some of it is pure advice. Some of it is uh, expectations mm-hmm. to sort of to just get ready for it. And yep. that's that alone can help a guy be prepared. Yeah. So first one. Get sleep when you can. <laughs> totally okay. makes sense. They're not going to all be negative, but yeah. yeah. Number two, talk about expectations before the baby arrives. Communication before the baby. Yes. Totally. So expectations that you have for the baby and, and like for each stuff other. and for each other. Yeah. Absolutely. Buy butt paste for the baby. Number three. 
Yes. <laughs> it's actually should be number one. <laughs> yeah. You told, it was that was early one of the episodes. first episodes. Yes. Yeah. Very early episode Use I learned it about at this. Every changing. So you know, basically, that's the brand name, I believe, but it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's diaper rash cream. Yeah. You basically use it every time you change the baby. Poor babies, man. Seriously, they go through all but that. You, but you avoid diaper rash. Yeah. And it's so wonderful. I feel bad for those little babies. Always use it. Yep. Number four, put your baby at an angle almost all the time. Not flat. So if, when they're going to sleep, when they're resting, when they're eating, when they're all kinds of stuff. So a lot of people will say, well, the baby loves to sleep in their car seat. Mm-hmm. No kidding. They're at an angle. Hmm. So what happens is when you feed a baby and I'm, I'm a scientist, so I mean, I this stuff. <laughs> right. And a doctor sure, and a lactation consultant. Yeah. All these things. Wear multiple hats. Um, when you put, you feed the baby, they're full and then you put them flat, which often like, you know, you feed them and then you put them flat, and they start crying or they get indigestion, they get colic, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Part of that is because you're lying flat on a full stomach. Yeah. You wouldn't like it either. I might. <laughs> well, no, but you're right. You're, yeah, you're right. It's not comfortable, especially yeah. on your stomach. Yeah, and it's like gassy. Whatever. Yeah. And all stuff, yeah. So they like to be at an angle. Now, if you even look at when you when a baby is first born in the hospital, they put the baby at an angle. Hmm. So they literally prop up the baby at an angle yeah. and put them in there. Now, whether that is specifically for digestion whatever, it works. Sure. And so that was something with our first child that my mom figured out. And literally that changed the course of like how, like how everything went. Wow. We were so distraught with how, yeah. like how much he cried and he was uncomfortable and all this stuff. And all of a sudden, like my mom strolls in and was like, why isn't that baby on an angle? Not on an angle. <laughs> I'm like, Oh wow. So like, I mean, from everything changing, sleeping, yeah. we actually got like a harness to like help him sleep on mm. an angle. I mean, changed everything yeah yeah put the baby on an angle as long as they're safe <laughs> sure and it's not like some weird no even the, angle <laughs> no but even the sleeping like we had to get like this harness thing like, oh, yeah. so that they could she could sleep at an angle and sure. it totally worked wow um but even if you have even if it's just a little slight angle yeah that's, that's good cool um number five you may have trouble bonding with the baby for a while the dad the dad yeah yeah we, t- we covered this on the show yes could be months some of the, yeah a lot of these things we may have covered but yep. i want to consolidate them all on the sure, one yeah. good list <laughs> Could be months that you're not going to bond with this baby. Could be longer, yeah. whatever. Just deal with it. Sure. Or not deal with it, but be, <laughs> be ready. No, for it. no, deal with it. Yeah, yeah. I, I'll say it. <laughs> go on date number six. Go on dates with your wife. Mm-hmm. You or she may not even want to, but yeah, go do it. But anyways. Do it. Yep. No matter I agree what. With that. Number seven. Always have wipes handy. Yep. If you don't know what a wipe is, you will. <laughs> but it's basically just a wet napkin. I mean, sure. Uh, and get the flushable kind. Just be good for the environment. Okay. You know, like unless you're so there's environmentally th- friendly. Well, there's two different kinds. There are just standard wipes, which you can wipe and use for the baby and then throw in the trash. Mm-hmm. And then there's flushable wipes. The flushable wipes are better to mm-hmm. flush and sometimes you have to flush because yeah. what's on the wipe yeah um but otherwise or it just goes in the diaper bin or whatever else right, but yeah. always have those with you sure. okay i mean like put an extra thing in your car yeah you have a if you have a diaper bag or backpack or whatever number eight always carry an extra diaper or two mm-hmm. and as a new dad you will realize this shortly. yeah i mean yeah. very quickly you'll get to know this but just be prepared like oh yeah maybe i should have an extra diaper in my car maybe i should have an extra diaper in the bag maybe you know and you'll end up having them all over the place right. you'll need them yeah strategically um, planted yeah uh number nine join a dad's group like dudes to dads there you go <laughs> so no really it's about talking about the issues you're facing you're probably not going to talk too much about the stuff that you're feeling and going through with your friends you may, you may not, or your family depends. And some of your friends may be dads so that you can rely on them. Sometimes, but, sometimes but most, most men don't feel that comfortable. Yeah, doing no, you're it. right. Even if they, you have dad friends. Yeah. So I recommend whether it, it, you know, it's a local best is a local group. I mean, you, there are online forums and stuff too, sure. you know, to do that, but you're going to want some kind of outlet. It just, it really, really helps. Yeah. Number 10, hold your children as much as you can. Mm-hmm. Don't think of it as your wife's responsibility or that anything just when you have the chance to hold the baby, hold the baby, you know, just human touch helps and it helps you helps you bond. helps you become close, helps you. Um, number 11, don't judge her day against yours. If she stays home with the baby, right? You will not win. (laughs) 
don't think that being home with a baby is easier than going to work. It's right, not. Right. And if you think that it is, stay home a couple days with the baby and figure that sure, one out. Sure, yeah. You're doing it wrong it's not. if you think it's easier. It's not. It's not going to be easier. Um, number 12, when your child smiles, smiles at you for the first time, you won't believe how amazing it feels. Mm. It's this little thing of a child smiling, your child smiling mm. at you. It's pretty amazing how that feels. And you had no prep. You did not realize that some little thing smiling, at you would feel that good. Right. <laughs> like, yeah. Whatever, you know, <laughs> serotonin, cortisol is released, whatever it is. It's just crazy. <laughs> Scientific. Yeah. It is crazy what, yeah. what that feels like. Yeah. When they say dad or dada for the first time. Yeah. You'll wish that you could bottle up how that feels. Right. Like literally it, it's even better than the smile yeah. <laughs> it, it's it, it's good stuff so be prepared for that yeah well don't have too high of expectations <laughs> yeah you, you painted a nice picture of it I know. number 14 get to know your pediatrician don't leave that up to your wife don't leave it up to anybody Just get to know your pediatrician go to the appointments you'll probably be calling them a few times it's good to know your pediatrician sure you know and, and you'll be calling them when you don't even need to call them sometimes yeah because you're worried about something you know um you know, and a lot of people feel like, well, that's, you know, that's the other person's like in my, my wife was a labor and delivery nurse. So it's like a lot of the stuff I just relied on her because sure. she was much more of an expert than I was. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I still, you know, wanted to understand what was going on and, and, and to do that. So don't just let them do it. If people want number 15, if people want to give you used clothing, take it. Yeah. They grow out of things so dang fast, yeah. you will not believe it. No, for there sure. There are things that we didn't even get to. Right. Like, they didn't even get to wear. Yeah. Or, it's like, they wore it once, and then they were too big for it. Sure. Just, it's going to happen. Yeah. And so, you just realize, like, it, it's just, it's stupid to always have to get new clothes. No, like hand-me-downs that. are perfect. Perfectly. St- and, and it's funny how- Especially it, when they don't care about fashion at that age. No, but it's funny, because, like, two. before having a child, I remember, like, caring about that. I was like, I'm not going to have, like, my child wearing these clothes. <laughs> and then, like, once the baby came, I was like, hey, bring it. Yeah, whatever, whatever you, you got. I'll, Salvation Army, yeah, giveaway, it, it whatever just, you got. It, does, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Number 16. Try to get yourself- in the pictures and video you take with your kids. Mm-hmm. So, you know, nowadays, I mean, it's so easy with a phone, but we often take pictures and videos of them, but make sure you get yourself in the shot. Yeah. So I can tell you, it's much more meaningful to look at a picture from a couple of years ago as them, as a baby, when you're in the shop. No, I, I see that so frequently in the age of Facebook and, and, you know, we, I have a lot of friends that have kids or at least people that I know that have kids and, um, some of them are really good about that, like kind yeah. of being in the shot with the kids. And the other ones are just turning these kids into these poor cult objects. <laughs> and they constantly take the pictures of these little babies. And I'm like, leave that baby alone like, right. or get in it with them. Like, you, you're part of the, the family. Yeah. I mean, you know, and it's so easy to take video and take pictures. But like I said, it, you'll really look back. And, and the, those the pictures, especially for me, that are the most special mm-hmm. Are the ones where I'm in the shot or my wife is in the shot with the child. Yeah. You know, versus just like, oh, it's a cute picture of our kid. Yeah. That's cool, but it yeah. really is not as meaningful as like there's a couple where, you know, I'm holding their hand or whatever. Yeah. And so just be conscious of that and trying to take pictures of yourself with the baby. Yeah. Yeah. You know, or and even as they get a little bit older. Yeah. Too. Balance it out. Yeah. Um, number 17, create memories rather than getting gifts. Mm hmm. So this is something that I just feel really strongly about. It's, you know, especially in just a, um, in a society where tangible items are so valued. Yeah. Um, but the reality is, is that the memories are way more important. And yeah. my parents were really good. My mom was really good about that of like, Hey, you know what? Let's do something versus a gift. You know? Yeah. I'm not a huge fan, um, to be honest with you of most holidays because there's such expectation of giving gifts. Right. And so I've almost completely omitted it until I start dating people that are, you know, family oriented and they have f- friends and family that do that. But I'd rather do, Go do something. something. Yeah. Totally. And I, and, and I'm, a, I'm exactly the same. If same with my birthday, I'm like, I don't want gifts for my birthday. Just take me out for a beer or, right. or dinner or something. And then we'll go hang out. And that to me means more to me than anything you've ever given me. Yeah. Unless it's a lot of money. Then you want to give that to me. <laughs> <laughs> Number 18. Don't be afraid to go places with the baby. Yeah. Um, it does happen where you often will feel like, uh, I can't go there. I've got the baby. I can't do this. I got yeah. the baby. Adventure out a little bit. You don't want to put them in any danger, but you know, um, <laughs> rock climbing with the baby. No, but I think we talked. Like I've seen them in a bar. 
<laughs> or like, you know, like, <laughs> oh, no, I, actually, yeah. I mean, not drinking, but, you know, yeah. but yeah, you're right. The, the new thing, in, and we live in San Diego and breweries are actually kind of almost family They're oriented. Family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so like you can you go bring there. the dog. Yeah, you can bring yeah. the dogs. You can bring your baby. It's kind of weird. It's like there's a baby in here. Like, it's kind of strange. It's a weird environment to do that. Yeah. But, I mean, you know, you even traveling and stuff yeah. like that, you know, it's not easy always, but yeah. you know what? You can make make the adjustments and, and don't let, it, the, the moral of that is don't let the baby stop you from doing. Things. Yeah. You know, I'm glad I'm doing this show with you because there's so many things that I, you know, I know in the back of my mind, I'm like, I don't want to take a baby anywhere. This is going to break <laughs> or someone's going to mess with it. or I'm going to like have to getting res- reminded rescue it from a dog or something like, <laughs> like yeah, I'm getting reminded. OK, it's OK. Just think that way for a second and then move on and listen to this totally. episode. Totally. <laughs> uh, number 19, you won't believe how many diapers you can go through in a single day. Ugh. Just be ready for it. Yeah. Um, I remember 10, 11, 12 diapers in one day. Now, see, this is the part of the thing I don't like. Crazy. About. Yeah. It's crazy. I love they I think they're adorable. What comes out of the back end, not so it's, adorable. You get used to it. I, I know you do. It's really Just, not. Uh, yeah. yeah. I get it. Uh, number 20, very, very important one. Attend parenting classes. Mm-hmm. Highly recommended. Huge amount of information to help you. You don't think you need it, want it, that it's valuable. It is. Mm -hmm. It's just it's the whole foundation of like what got me motivated to start doing this stuff. Sure. Realizing how much I didn't know and how much I could be helped like my own patients and tolerance and just knowledge and really yeah. understanding, you know, how, how to deal with not only like a baby toddler, but then into you know, the children. Yeah, child. All, and exactly. Um, number 21, always have snacks with you, mm-hmm. you know, and as the baby gets a little bit older, it's a little bit more because if it's not just eating milk, you know, or <laughs> drinking right. milk um, or formula or something, but it, always have snacks with you. It's like, as a child, my wife was so good about this. Cause I, you know, I, we would go somewhere and I wouldn't have anything. She'd be like, Oh yeah, no, I got this. You know? And she's got like a bunch of snacks and a bunch yeah. of things. I'm like, okay, you know, we're, <laughs> we're good. Cause they always get hungry when they don't, you don't think that they're going to sure, like, cause sure. you, you kind of, it's funny. You regulate a lot of that stuff based on how you're feeling. <laughs> cause you're like, Oh, I'm not hungry. I'm yeah. like, what's wrong with you, baby. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to bring, I'm not going to bring yeah. food. Cause I, it's only two hours. Like Didn't you just uh, eat a few minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> and at the same thing, number 22, always have extra formula. So if you are feeding formula or breastfeeding, um, I didn't add it in here, but breastfeeding is much more, uh, you know, saves a lot of money. Yep. But not everybody chooses to do it. Sure. Or so. some people can't. Both. So they may right. do that. Yeah. Number 23, always have a change of clothes mm-hmm. for your child. Yeah. <laughs> Not for yourself, but uh, <laughs> Maybe well, that, for yourself. That, yeah, yeah, it can be. Occasionally um, that might happen. Change of clothes. So whether that's you have the diaper bag in your car or whatever, always have an extra set of clothes. Um, always bring an extra pacifier mm-hmm. if, you, if you're using one because it can get lost, it gets thrown, whatever, and then you can have a really unhappy child sure. if you're using that. Um, number 25, it was funny, a buddy of mine uh, said this one. I, he said, I always had a, a roll of toilet paper in the trunk. <laughs> so when they start to go to the, you know, going to there, I, I, you know, wipes, same thing. Yeah. Um, you just, it, you want to always be prepared. So yeah. toilet paper was a good one. Mm-hmm. Um, always number 26, bring their favorite toy or stuffed animal that can get you through a lot of situations. Yeah. Uh, having something them to hold and something to, you know, to, to kind of cuddle with at certain situations. I always wonder why babies or even animals choose certain animals or stuffed animals or toys. There is a science behind it. it. Is there? Yeah. There, there is something about the texture or the sound. Totally. Thing that there are, there are some weird phenomena that have happened. I I remember one for my kids was this giraffe Mm -hmm. and it was like, I forget what it was called, but like, literally like every kid loved these giraffes. And I don't know if it was, it was the texture or however it moved or sounded yeah. or whatever, you know, and toy companies were at work very hard. On oh that yeah. Stuff. That's probably statistical analysis. Yeah. And- <laughs> yeah. All kinds of, yeah. so there, there is some to it. I mean, there's definitely the, yeah. the toys that are quote popular are usually popular for some reason, sure, you know, and, sure. and you know, whether it's annoying or, you know, <laughs> you're right for us Try to find a stuffed animal that doesn't make a lot of noise. <laughs> yeah. Um, Number 27, everything takes longer with a baby. Mm-hmm. So be prepared uh, that it takes longer and don't over schedule yourself. Yeah. Like, oh, we'll be there at two o'clock. No, you'll be there at three. O'clock. Yeah. Yeah. So either book way ahead or prepare that you're going to be late. Right. Number 28, don't call it babysitting. It's your child. Right. We talked about this before. <laughs> uh, number 29, if it's a boy, expect to get peed on. Okay. While you're changing them. Yeah. Uh, there is some items that like you can put over them, but there's also some techniques about like putting the diaper over them while you're changing. Yeah. You'll learn some of that, but you'll learn it after you get peed on a couple times. <laughs> it's not as bad as you. Sure. It's not great, but. Right. Um, 
I can almost deal with that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, no, no. On, a, on a, even just thinking about it. Right. I'm like, yeah, it's you gun shy. Yeah. And it's not to say that your daughter won't either, but right. it's just a little bit it's easier a, for the boy to do it. It's a spout with the yeah. boy. <laughs> um, it's just the directional <laughs> thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, number 30, you will completely mess up many times. So this is on changing, bathing, feeding. You're going to quote mess up. You're going to do things wrong. You're it, just, it's okay. Yeah. Like, know that you're going to mess up. Don't beat yourself up. Don't get upset. Same thing. Don't get on your spouse for messing stuff up. Sure. It's going to happen and mess up. There's a lot of things that can happen in that category. Um, number 31, get a lightweight car seat or stroller. Um, a lot of them are combinations for ease of transport. So literally we had a, uh, really lightweight car seat. It was really still strong, but then you just grab the car seat and put it right on the stroller. Yeah. So you don't have to have like, you know, different things that are bulky and whatever. Yeah. It's really, so really easy trying, to use. It's like a yeah. transformer. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> you know, that type of thing. Just really easy to, tra- to transport things. Right. Uh, 32, they love motion. So whether it's a swing, riding in a car, they all seem to love motion. And that's sometimes like people that rocking them to sleep. Yeah. You know, Those things that they bounce up and down on. The, totally. Whatever that thing there's, is called. There's a little oh, the lamb rocker. that goes. There's yeah. all kinds of things. Yeah. They will love the motion. Sure. They love it. I don't know what it is. Yeah. I mean, we all do. Who likes Actually, a hammock or a swing? Yeah. yeah you yeah. think about it. Even as an adult you kind of like those things uh number 33 in quotes is the baby sleeping through the night will be asked over and over and over again by various friends so be prepared for that when it happens it's amazing uh just (laughs) smile and saying we're getting there okay that's the best answer yeah we're getting there yeah versus well yeah it's two hours and that varies with babies right just like people here's the reality because i've seen it happen that there are techniques and things that can be done to get the baby to sleep overnight Whatever. Um, <laughs> Not whiskey, please. The problem is, is that some of them are very hard for people to do. What do you mean? It is really difficult to sit there and watch your hear your baby cry. For yeah. Many people. Sure. So, you know, cry, let your baby cry themselves to sleep is a common oh, right. thing. And there's techniques around that. Yeah. I can tell you from experience, the first time that you hear your child screaming, yelling, crying for yeah. 20 minutes. Yeah. It's not an easy thing to do. Right. And so many people are like, screw that. I'm, I'm just going to pick up the baby and, you know, swaddle them to sleep and hold them, you know, whatever. Yeah. So it's a personal decision on how to do that. So there are techniques and there are things, but it's not an easy thing to do. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, it wasn't easy for me or for us, I should say. Yeah. We did it, but it wasn't easy. Yeah. Um, number 34, be really nice to your wife. (laughs) Um, on some days, it might be really hard. <laughs> Do it anyways. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a recommendation. Number 35, create a schedule for you, the mom, and the baby. Mm-hmm. Here's our schedule. Here's what's going on. We love schedules. Yeah. Decide who is responsible for what and make a chart. Okay. You're going to do the feeding. I'm cooking dinner. Yeah. You're taking the baby to here. Accept certain responsibilities and disseminate those responsibilities. Make them rolls. Make them. I mean, they're not. They don't have to be in stone. Yeah. <laughs> but there's a pretty. You know, hey, I'm doing laundry. You're doing dishes on. Yeah. The, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. It helps for everyone to sort of know what's going on. Sure. Um. And so, uh, babies and toddlers and children, like I had mentioned before, like schedules. So stick to one without driving yourself crazy or those around you. Mm -mm. It will happen. Sure. Just so I've heard. (laughs) 38. There will be times when you will doubt your ability to be a father. Take a deep breath. Know it is perfectly normal to feel that way. And you are awesome. Right. It is. That's a tough one because there are times and this happens with women too. You just don't feel like you're good enough. For yeah. the situation. Yeah. Even prior to having kids myself, you know, I, that's what I worry most about is being able to provide for the baby in the way that, you know, I didn't have as a kid or whatever the things are that going on in my mm-hmm. crazy head. And, uh, so I was like, yeah, I want everything to be perfect. It's never going to be perfect, but right. you know, I mean, more and more I realize that obviously, but that there is, I totally relate to that section. Yes. Um, you're going to doubt it. It's going to happen. Uh, but it'll be okay. Yeah. And just, just know that. Right. Uh, 39, the expression, it goes by so fast is Mm. often said, and it's really true. Um, it just doesn't seem like it when your baby's crying. 
<laughs> it feels like it's a really long time. I wish this would time. go by really fast. Yeah, it, it, there are some days when it just it feels really long. Yeah, and it does not seem very fast. But now I can tell you from that. I always everybody's oh it goes by so fast. And the truth is, like you look at baby pictures now, and like yeah. my kids are six and eight. And I'm just like, yeah, what happened? Yeah, that was a blur. I mean, yeah, it's just it's crazy Went from. You know, to, people see them and they're like, well, I haven't seen them in two years. I and know. like, they're just different people, you know? Yeah, yeah. I just recently had saw, you know, somebody I hadn't seen in three years and yeah. they just saw our, my kids and they're like, I mean, just completely different human beings than what yeah. they were before. You know? Yeah. There's, there's times where I, I went through that phase when I was a kid that people saw me in sporadically. Like, oh my God, that's so yeah, yeah. I remember I went to some place and they were like, cousin Alan. And they just hadn't seen me since I was a kid. Now I'm like an adult <laughs> with the facial hair and everything. But I went, did the exact same things to my cousins who I hadn't seen in a while. Totally. We were younger. And I'm like, I haven't seen you. You since just you don't were realize five. as a parent when you're going through it. Yeah. How much. Well, yeah, because if you're with them all the time, it's like you're growing with them in some weird way. And like, yeah. and when you, when you Until you see the it, pictures. And yeah. Then you're else. like, Oh, look at what you used to be like, you yeah. know, number 40. <laughs> uh, just know that ages two to four could be, more or less, more four and a half, five are really, really hard. <laughs> they just are. I don't want to make people depressed, but <laughs> they call the, it the terrible twos for a reason. Right? Terrible threes and terrible fours too. Ter- ter- well, it doesn't roll off the tongue. I well. know, but it, it's true. <laughs> the more you can Here's learn to be four. patient, not take things personal and take everything in stride, the better off you will be. Right. Hence take parenting classes. <laughs> okay. Or talk to people around you. Those, yeah. those other things. Develop that your peer group, whatever yes. it is. Yeah. You will realize that what you're going through feeling and is, is it's just completely normal. Um, you just have to realize that. So number 41, the baby or toddler is really going to piss you off. <laughs> really bad. Don't take it personally because they're not doing it to you personally. They have no idea what's going right. on. Right. They're, they have no idea. You think that they know and they really don't know. It's always that they grab the thing, just throw it on yeah, the floor I, type I, of yeah, stuff. Yeah. And you think that they're yeah. trying to defy you. I know. And it makes and like, me laugh when people think that. I mean, maybe I would think that because I'm yeah, in the moment. Yeah. But once you, once you have taken like the classes or you see like yeah. from experience, it's just, it's just not how it is. Yeah. It's like, it's like, it's like what are you doing? You know, yeah. Um, <laughs> number 42, child proofing is a real thing. Mm-hmm. Like it, it does make sense. Don't go crazy with it, but be aware when that your baby starts crawling and they start, they're going to go everywhere. Yeah. It gets even worse when they can start, you know, getting onto their knees or, or their, yeah. like their hands and they start going in. And they have stuff. these jumping motions almost where they just want to go fast all of a sudden. Some, some ch- children do it. Some don't. Ours did of going through drawers. Like <laughs> we, we had to have to have locks on like every single drawer. Like it just, our, my son was just every single drawer I had to like go in, see what's in it, pick it out. I mean, and you're just following them around, closing stuff. And so you're just finally, we realize like, okay, we're going to get latches on all these. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, it helps if you have an animal too, because the animal can't, you know, can't get in. Also. Yeah. No, I, I developed that technique. My grandma showed me where you just, I mean, she just did right. it because we had animals, but uh, the nail, the bent nail, just take a nail and then bend it and then it becomes a latch. Right. <laughs> and they don't know how to open it. Yep. Uh, 43. When your family or friends offer to watch your kids, let them. <laughs> You're going to want the break. Yeah. Number 44. When family or friends offer, if they can do anything, let, let them. Let them. Yeah. Whether it's cook a meal or help out, whatever, let them do it. 45. They don't need a ton of toys. Yeah. Like we said, whether that's experience, they just don't need a ton of them. String yeah. with a ball, yeah. just the string, a just the ball, <laughs> a box, a piece of paper. The worst is when you have like a holiday, whether it's a birthday or, you know, the holidays. And literally there's like all tons of gifts that all these people give and you give and everything else. And your child is sitting there playing with a box <laughs> right. or, you know, or like the piece of paper that it was wrapped yeah, in. Yeah, the wrapper, it, wrapping it's paper. It's so, doesn't mean anything. Like... <laughs> It's so funny to watch because like people that don't have the kids or haven't gone through that and they're like, you know, you try to shower them with all these expensive things thinking like the ki- the, ki- the kid even knows yeah, the and they don't. Care. It just doesn't matter. The I, gifts don't matter. Or I could be off on a limb here. And this is this, this for me goes the same thing with the first birthday. Like it's the kid doesn't care. Just no. give him a little cake. He can just mush around or her mush it around or whatever. That's and it. Play in it. That's all you need. Everything else is arbitrary right. <laughs> and everything else is really for the parents. Give a donation. <laughs> right. Either their college fund or to some charity. Oh, perfect. Some college Put fund it in or their charity. college fund. Totally. Yeah. I mean, maybe I'm being too practical. Wouldn't it be get old bucks, enough to remember? Whatever. Yeah. Right. If everyone gave 10 bucks instead of a gift. Right. 
then that's a good be start. Hooked up. Good start. Yeah. I, for the first five years. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Then when they start developing memories and holding on to them. Right. They can do Spider-Man or whatever. Oh, don't get me started. <laughs> All right. Uh, number 46. If you do get a ton of toys and they, or if you do get toys and they have sounds, try to get ones with an off switch. <laughs> Volume control, batteries, or at least a sound that you can tolerate for a few hours at a time. Yeah, yeah. So you, you you've got to test them out. I mean, it, there are things that you're going to hear over and over. Again. <laughs> um, I think you just said it. Number forty seven. Have a bunch of extra batteries handy. Yeah. So, um, forty eight. If you listen to songs or watch TV, your child will want to watch or listen to them over and over and over. And over yeah. and over and over again. And, no, seriously, over and over again. <laughs> um, I've, I've actually developed a tolerance for that part because I know that that's going to happen. And I see because I, I watch kids when they're playing and stuff like that. And they want to do the same thing over and over and over again because they don't get sick of things like the way we totally. do. Totally. Um, <laughs> number 49, don't wake a sleeping baby, which is a common thing. Right. It's very true. Just let them sleep. But they'll be off schedule. Just let them sleep. They're way better off when they sleep. Sure. Number 50, you'll think that they understand you, but they often don't really understand anything that you're talking about. Right. I gave my children a lot of credit for understanding me with like at two and three. And conceptually, yes, they may like understand like, yes, I'm saying this or do this or whatever, but their brains are not developed <laughs> like ours. And we like... That's why I said, like, we think that, like, they're trying to get back at you or right. they're, you know, they're spiteful or or even like they, they're conniving or think they're just not. Yeah. Like, they really don't know what they're doing. It's like it's I don't say it's like a dog doing a trick, but it's like you kind of remember some things and that's about it. No, and I, I, I would equate it to a pet doing a trick or like, I mean, I have a cat and he does tricks and he sits down when I ask him to. <laughs> he doesn't understand higher concepts. So if he knocks something over, I'm and I go, ah, and right. he, he's just like, all right, I'll, fine. But he's going to do it again. He right. doesn't care. Right. He doesn't even think about that. He's not mad at me. He's not trying to get back at me. He's just like, I just thought I'd do that. Totally. 51. There will be an insane amount of laundry to do. You won't believe how many clothes a small human can go through. <laughs> if you live by a river, it really helps. <laughs> uh, 52, spend time alone with the baby, mm. uh, bathing, feeding, whatever. Mm. Just spend time alone. If you have to get your wife out of the house, get her out of the house. <laughs> sure away. <laughs> spend time alone. Yeah. 53, you will not be a perfect parent, and that's okay. Yeah. Just accept it now yeah, you're not going yeah. to be a perfect parent sure number 54 spend extra time with your family like your immediate family you're thinking of or maybe <clears throat> thinking about like uh well no with your 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 wife and your and kid your kid and, yeah, or yeah. kids or just spend extra time yeah nobody on their deathbed ever said i should have spent more time at the office sure yeah that is a famous line it's very, very true. Yeah. You're going to want to spend time with the people that you love and your family and such. So cats in the cradle, et cetera. Totally. <laughs> 55. What works for someone else may not work for you. This yeah. is the last piece of advice. Yeah. So find what works for you and your family. That's the thing. It's a, it's dynamic responsibility to, you know, because you can't, you can't just pigeonhole people. Or your spouse or circumstances or at that immediate moment right. into something that's going to work every single time. You can have advice and those things work. Well, it's great hence these it. other 54 items. <laughs> right. But they're not all... going to necessarily apply exactly. in every single situation to everybody. Yep. So take a lot of things with a grain of salt, however you want to say. Sure. But, you know, if I say it and these 54 things, it's totally true. <laughs> um, they work every single time unlike all the rest of things on that's the internet you should... if you see it on dudes to dad yes. dad university it's true that's why you go to dad university sign up right <laughs> soon um but those are the reasons so or those are the things in the advice if you guys have any advice at all uh, i'm gonna post this online i'd love to hear some feedback also yeah. you know additional comments if, if you have and good job getting through that in less than an hour not bad. Not bad. Uh, I got excited with a lot. Of yeah, things, it was good. You know? it, it, but it, it does. It brings you back to like going through those things and remembering like, you know, a lot of these. And I just started going through. I asked a couple friends as well as like remembering 
for me, like what would I have wanted to know yeah. when I was approaching this and or in the middle of it? Yep. And, you know, it's a, and a lot of this is just reassurance that it's like it's going to be OK. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, cause it, when I have it, kids, it, I'll play this episode too. Yeah, totally. <laughs> or read it or read. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, send us some feedback podcast at dudes to dads.com, uh, Twitter at dudes to dads, Facebook dudes to dads.com iTunes and Stitcher. Please leave some five star reviews and, uh, the reviews are really important to help the show propagate throughout the pod catchers. So if you're on iTunes and or Stitcher and finding the show, leave a review and we'd really appreciate it. Okay. Subscribe as well on all of those things, on including YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. Subscribe on Stitcher, iTunes, and YouTube. All right. Yeah. With that, Alan, thank you. Thank you. As always. And uh, we will see you next week. Bye.